early this morning and we're heading over to the Annie Whitmire Foundation. I'm gonna let Homer do a lot of the explaining because he has a lot of history here. It used to be an orphanage back in the 50s and way before, but I'm gonna let him <laughs> explain it. Here he is, and we are gonna head over and do a little history lesson on this beautiful Saturday morning. Tell us what we're doing and where we're going, kind of, just okay. in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, we're heading over to Annie Whitmire home where I was practically raised. From yeah. the ages of what and what? Uh, eight years old to 15. What years were they? 1959. Okay. To 1966. Yeah. You wanted, to, we've been talking about it for, for years, you know, you've been um, telling us about it. We've known you for about four years. And so you've been telling us about it. We've finally made it to Iowa, all of us together, which is pretty cool. As nomads, we get to do this together. Um, today's Saturday, so yeah. they're not open this morning, are they? No, nah, well, they might be. I don't know. We'll just check it out. Okay. See. Okay, that sounds good. It's not actually a an orphanage uh, now, is it? A more uh, historic uh, place. You and Catherine have been there. You got to show yeah. her at actually where you lived and um, ate and danced with the ladies back in the yeah. day. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Continue straight, to... then turn right onto Iowa 22 East. We're going to go into Davenport. We're uh, in Davenport now. This this city has a lot of history, and they really preserve it through. Uh, they have a dedicated Facebook page. It's uh, I think called the Davenport, Iowa Historical oh. Page or something like that. It's right on the Mississippi River. And you were saying that you used to come out here. Yeah, we used to come down there to Sandbag because the Mississippi River would flood Davenport out. <laughs> so when y'all were kids, they would have y'all come out here. Yeah, when we were older, they we came down here to Sandbag. Older, like in your in your early teens. Teens, or, yeah. Because okay. you were only there till you were about fifteen. Help sandbag, yeah. fill sandbags up because they needed it because they're trying to keep the Mississippi from coming into Davenport, Iowa. Get in rowboats, get into town. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the history in this place. Wow. This is it, kids? This is neat. This is how they were. All this, wow. the way they're going right now. This is original. Soldier Orphan Home. 1887 Bell. 1887. Building and the cafeteria. This is this was the administration building and the cafeteria. This right here is is the mess hall. Up there. And then you went in there, and that all was in the mess hall. When I got older, I was a person that helped around and did beds in these rooms. Some of them had uh, rooms in them. And what, set them up or yeah, set took them, them apart up. or oh, cleaned them? Yeah. These are the cottages. Can you point out the cottage? These cottages were where you boys slept. Yeah, this is, this is the boys' side. The real side is not even there. I was going to show you the cottage where I was. Yeah, that's the fire escape. Yep. And you had a fire and you were sleeping up there, you'd, you'd climb down. The you'd burn your britches off. <laughs> cottage gate right here. This is the cottage. This was Homer's cottage where he lived. Where he slept. Back four. I used to be up here. This is where we come out. And then over here was the playground. All this. They put a driveway in here. 
There's a parking lot Except now. You see a big gravel and monkey bars and all that stuff on there. This was yours. This is the back side of the number eight cottage where Homer slept and where Homer lived. Yeah, that's part of the dishwasher in place there, it looks like. Huh? Right there and the, where that yeah. garage is, where that tunnel. That was the dishwashing and kitchen well, area. That's the kitchen, you know, where we would have to go. Each cottage had a responsibility to wash dishes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Spray the dishes off all the food, and then the, then you stick them in there, they say, and you shove them, and they go to a big uh, war, uh, a big assembly line of uh, for washing dishes dish dishwashers. Yeah, that was uh, before ever we needed electric dishwashers all the time. Damn spiderwebs. That's what happens when you're at a very old building. <laughs> Lots of spider webs. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of spider I'm webs. Right into them. <laughs> so they've repurposed all these buildings, thankfully. They didn't tear it all down, but they did. See, that's brand new. That's <laughs> What's brand new? The, the air conditioning. Of course. <laughs> of course. And yet, Aubrey was asking if they had air conditioning, <laughs> no. which is a very good question no, because back in the 50s. Yeah. I mean, they definitely... They were in better shape than what they are now. Yeah. The church carries on over here to Cottage 12. 16 of them. There's 16, okay. We're continuing on. 16. 16 boys cottages, but now tell us about the girls cottages that are no longer oh, standing. Oh, girls cottages was set up just like the boys, and they were uh, all torn down. They uh, protected these. This is where they used, we used to slide down in the wintertime. That was all nothing there. Yeah, this, they've turned this into the Annie Wittenmeyer oh, Aquatic yeah. Center, yeah. which is beautiful. They would let the public over in the houses that live around come here for fireworks. How you doing? Good to see you again. Oh, yeah, hi. Like hey. well, yeah. they yeah. to where, where I grew up at. Absolutely. Hi. Well, well, welcome. I mean, I certainly don't own the place. Right? Sure. Here, yeah. So, uh, I remember when I was when I was a kid, there was, was all field, small yeah. baseball field over there, but that was about it. Do you want to? Can I film? Oh yeah, yeah. By all means. So you, what do you do here? Uh, I run the junior theater program. The second oldest children's theater in the country is here at the Wittmeyer campus. Wow. So, so that's now what what it is. One of the things. One yeah, of the things. Also, yeah, uh, family resources. Uh -huh. uh, family resources is um, they do foster care and uh, family support uh -huh. and stuff like that. And yeah. they run some alternative schools here and. A preschool program and things like that. Awesome. Well, it's good yeah. that they're using it, not just let them yeah. sit here and rot away or something. Right. Well, too bad they had to tear any of it down because sure. he said the whole girls' uh, wing yeah. is gone, it's but gone. Yeah. thankfully well, they, they were able to save it. this. Yeah. You have adopted sisters, Four. and um, yeah? yeah? Yeah. That's so. awesome. So you're familiar with all how that works, and this is a really neat history lesson for the kids. So. It is. Well, this is a really cool. Yeah, it's beautiful too. They've done a fantastic job uh, keeping it up. Most people would never think to stop and walk around the campus here. It's right in the middle of the city. Well, so. thanks yeah. to this guy, we get to experience this beautiful place. For sure. And thank you yeah. for letting yeah. us go into the one of the cabins. I'll get it. I'll get it unlocked. Thank that's you. That's the first thing I'll do. So y'all can yeah, just, we'll just walk down. This is cottage twelve. I was in this cottage because when you get older, they move you to a, a, a bigger cottage, and they. When you got older, they moved you to a different one. Did you say there were 20-year-olds <laughs> and 21-year-olds? Yeah. Wow. At the end. So they couldn't put us smaller kids in with them. We sure showed up at the right time for him to come by. So he's going to let us in one of the cabins, and the theater is open. This is cottage 15. When we were older, and I remember playing out of this window right here. Didn't have no air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> the window was up. We put our record speakers out, and we were playing a record of... Uh, Car racing, real mm -hmm. loud. People called the cops, and they thought they were real cars drag yeah. racing on the on the street right here. Yep. Right wow. On the Did y'all get in trouble? No, they just kind of wondered what was going on. <laughs> Homer, were you a troublemaker? <laughs> Look at 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the original stair. These go down to the aquatic center now. They used to be stairs all the way like here. Oh, so you could go down and yeah, so you go into down. the field and play and so whatever. So far down. See, look how many. There you have to go down. To yeah, let's it. go over here. And get... Oh, look at that beautiful stained glass. Was that there when you were here? That's the chapel. That's the original building. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Gosh. Look at the old staircase. Oh my gosh. The basement of the chapel. teacher used to make us run down that and run up it. Give you a good, good exercise. <laughs> Catherine wanted me to go down the, the fire escape. And I said, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> well, they had alarms on them, so I don't think I'm... It's too hot. It'll burn your buns. <laughs> All right, so he's here opening the cottage for us. You can smell the oldness. <laughs> oh, that's the best part. Oh, this is awesome. This, up here is the bedroom. Up here was your bedrooms? Yeah, upstairs. Want to go back work? Yeah, can we? Yeah. They had beds going all the way around the walls, all the way around to the other end. And then in the center, they had beds down two rows. There was like 20 beds in here. Wow. Yeah. In each cottage. Pretty much. We didn't use that. That, that was the, the person that ran the... See, they slept. That was their little home. The, the matrons the, suite. The matrons up there. Oh, now it's an office. Yep. This is a perfect little uh, suite for the matron. This was their living room, and this was their bedroom. That's wow. where they had a bathroom. Because this was the matrons. You don't come in this room. <laughs> this here, you couldn't get where is your mother? Have I closed? This was the locker room. It had lockers in here. The kids had their clothes and stuff where we would change and get in our pajamas and all that to go to bed. So y'all had like a, a community changing room? Yeah, for all the boys. This was the, where you wash up and everything. Wash your face and to clean up. So this is the original bathroom? Yeah, original bathroom here. Yeah. Did it look just like this with the mint green yeah, tile? Yeah, shower and tub right there. There's a shower there and a the tub. Wow, so all, all, you, original. all you boys had to share this bathroom? That's a nightmare. <laughs> right now they have a baby changing oh, station. <laughs> they had the hallways and stuff here. And this was a, more of a playroom. <laughs> Do they, that he's hi. In. Do all these cabins look the same, basically, yep. inside? Yeah, same footprint. Yeah, there hasn't been They're a lot all the of, same. Uh, they didn't change them much. <laughs> no, there hasn't been a lot of remodeling. Not, yeah. not a lot of tearing walls out or anything like that. Kitchen right <laughs> here and everything that we fix things. Now that's more. original. What? All this. Yeah, this is original. That's how the chairs were in, when we were in here. But they had them all the way around. And this was where we watched television. You didn't have no choice. You had to go in and watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> you had no choice. You had to watch TV. And he was the guy who made you scrub with uh, toothbrush, right? Yeah. Well, it was guy. He was uh, from West Point, and he would check our rooms. Each one of these rooms had a couple kids that had to clean them. When we clean it, well, we messed a little corner and he found dust and he made us, he said, well, your weekend is going to be scrubbing this uh, TV area. So he made us take all the furniture out and everything. He said he wanted it done by the time he got back and he brought a big bucket out and gave us two brushes and said, you're going to scrub each square. Well, he left and we, we started scrubbing. Lucky his wife, wife was upstairs, so he, she didn't get to see anything. And I was so pissed because we wouldn't go to be able to do any <laughs> weekend, was weekend funny. So I kicked the bucket over and knocked all the water over and it ran all over the soap and everything. And we started mopping it up and the, the other two guys were mad at me and we got it all mopped up. And then I said, oh, let's get it out. Let's put everything back. And we, so we put it all back. And let's go to the canteen and everything. Yeah, we were supposed to scrub with toothbrushes, but we figured. You just we let it dry. And he wouldn't notice. So we wouldn't. I told him, don't you guys say anything, you know, we'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, well, it turned out and you're still here. So, <laughs> so thankfully, so we got away with it. <laughs> that's a good story. I love hearing your stories, Homer. We are open. Come on, kids. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh yeah, you're gonna have to go in there and scrub that house. <laughs> That's the last of the history, or the last of your history lesson for today. This Saturday, you get to go and scrub the cottage floor. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to go down because sometimes they, we had to practice, uh, you know, escaping, and they would let us slide down them, and we open the doors and we'd uh, zoom down. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a little kid, that is a long way down. They weren't too fun when it got really, really hot because they weren't. Uh, <laughs> They burn the heck out of heck yeah, and they still would. <laughs> you got shorts on. You got the right burn. Hey, let's go in here. This is the actual theater, junior theater. Okay, this is where they do the treats. See, oh, this one's got the original floor. The floor I had to scrub. See, we had to scrub each one of these with toothbrush. This is where we had to get down and scrub this with toothbrushes down here <laughs> on this tile. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, this is the dance room. This is where they have ballet and jazz and everything. Oh, is that the emergency door? Yep. And then you slide down. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So y'all want to give it a try? No. No? Yeah, we were having a good time. And here's the courtyard again. Back to square one. School's on the girl side. The school is? Yeah. Way on the other side. We will not complain about it being cold in there. Yeah. But you can smell or smell the oldness. <laughs> you sure can. You can smell the history in this place. Yeah. Wow. This is really beautiful. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we sat here to watch the movies mm -hmm. that they showed. Plus, we came here and sat and listened to the preacher. <laughs> Did y'all have to attend the services every Sunday morning? Yeah. Yeah? We came here every Sunday. Downstairs is a canteen. I'll show you that. You could go to the canteen for the weekend? Yeah, they gave us all our, well, they saved money for us. It's dedicated to Mary Fleur Nyswander, and she's the one who founded the Davenport Junior Theater. Where they show the old theaters. There's a picture of her. The door we came in when they opened up on the weekend. You go down here, this is, this is where the canteen was. And the roller rain. The roller rain and the boxing. Lights are off, but you can this get kind of an idea. Right here. It had, like you came in, these the people had all the sales, just like a store with candy bars and all that stuff. You could mm -hmm. buy, treats and all this. And then uh, I think part of it was when they had the roller skates, the boxing ring was to be right in the middle of it. The boxing ring was in the middle of this. But it went back for the. They used to have scouting here where they had the scout master and everything. After a while, they, when I got clear up to Tenderfoot, they closed scouting down. Thank you for the tour. We appreciate it. Okay. Anything else you want to say about? Oh, I don't know. That's if you want to see the school or something. Okay, let's go see some school of the school. Real quick. He said he walked on the sidewalk in the middle of a blizzard just to go to a girl's side to see his girlfriend. Oh, what was her name, Homer? Sienna Young. What was her Sienna name? Sienna Young. Sienna Young, yeah. if you're watching this, he's married. Hands off. <laughs> Hands off. <laughs> <You're funny. laughs> hey, it's true. Enough, yeah. Catherine will appreciate that. I have that diary they gave me. They, oh. they all signed in it. The next wife of Homer. Oh, is that what she signed your... Well, the people signed in it. Okay. And they like... gave it to me. It's a diary Do you still book. have it? Yeah. You're kidding. No. <laughs> Hugging a tree. <laughs> tree hugger. A tree hugger. This is where I went to school back in the 60s. <laughs> I used to be in a grade school down here in the bottom. Bottom? Yeah. Last grade was up there, sixth grade. Fifth and sixth was next to each other. And then seventh was over here. Do kids still come to the school? Uh, just head start down below. That's offices up there now. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Where did your mom go? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is head start. This is where we used to go to our crafts. It used to be an IOI and went by school for the soldiers. But uh, when we were, it was a craft where we did uh, all we rugs. Uh huh. We had a big weave in there upstairs and we did rugs. I did rugs and I did ceramic 
where you turn clay into glass almost like. What cool architecture. Do you see how this building comes out at a curve? That's really That's neat. Building. It's been there. Real pretty. It's better shape than all the other buildings. It really is. That's the way stuff was built. This is the old gym where I came to play basketball. I was on our team. <laughs> Homer wants to go see if we can get in the gym or at least peek in the window. This is all regional up here. Here is the gym Homer went to, played basketball. There were bleaches up on both sides of the walls here so people could sit and watch. They took those all out, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it's pretty uh, regional. You see the back of the wood? And down here was uh, the swimming pool, but they changed it into a weight room. They've renamed this the Wittenmeyer Head Start Early Head Start Program. They took all the toys down. <laughs> all of them. I mean, the bars and you swing back and the grab And over him. Used to be up Monkey there. bars. This is the maintenance shop, and there's the back of your cabins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, this, this part's really bad shape. But at least they still have it standing. Yeah, this is not too bad. That one, that big place where it fits, that they, they need to restore it. This one's somehow. pretty good, yeah. In pretty good shape. Yeah, there's that, they call it the gingerbread house. You call it the gingerbread house? Is that what everyone well, calls it? that's what they call it in here. <laughs> I don't know what we call it. Well, Homer, thank you for the tour of the oh, Annie Oh, counseling home. and therapy in there now. Serve it. That's what they're called now. This is this just used to be the hospital. The hospital when I had the measles or the Was this the chicken hospital? Pox. No, the hospital you passed back there. Oh, we passed the hospital. All right, so we're out of here. Now, every morning we had to come over here to put up the American flag. If you recall in the previous video, this is when we went to go visit the cemetery, which was located directly across the street from the Annie Wittenmeyer home. If you watched our video, thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoyed all the history that was wrapped up in this 20 minutes. Originally, the video was over an hour of footage, so I had to dwindle it down to about 22 minutes for you to enjoy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.